Hi guys, my name is Millie Goblin, and today we're going to be answering the question Do more people play Classic than Retail World of Warcraft or obviously the other way around? And I think the answer to this question is actually for many of the people who watch my channel will actually be quite surprising because I was personally quite surprised by what I actually found out in the research of making this video. Just before we jump in guys, please like and subscribe if you end up liking the video because that really does help out and if you want to see obviously more content like this. But anyway, let's jump in. So the first challenge of answering this question is how to actually work it out in the first place because we don't precisely know what population is on a World of Warcraft server. We don't know how many players can fit into a World of Warcraft server. The short answer that Blizzard gives you is that it's in a, it's a few thousand, that's literally all they say, and they adjust the total player cap on different servers to adjust like, you know, the demand for a certain server so there isn't server queues and so there isn't latency issues and stuff like that. So basically they'll put more juice into a big higher populated server than a server that isn't higher populated. But what we can do is just very simply look at the realm status pages and it will tell you whether the server is full high populated, medium populated, low populated, or with new players on the server. And we can roughly estimate that about 15,000 people probably play on a World of Warcraft retail realm, that's probably the cap, and I think the estimation for the cap on Classic is about 10 to 12,000. But I don't think it's a, uh, I don't think, to be honest, like looking at the results that I've come up with, we don't actually need to precisely focus on the actual amount of players are in a server because you only have to look because the results are so staggeringly in favor for retail the results are i think it's pretty clear that retail has a lot more players than classic which i personally found quite surprising but i think that's because i've been playing classic for so long and i've really had my head in the sand about retail i've you know talked about how much i don't like retail so much that my perception of retail has been totally distorted by my like general dislike of retail. I didn't realize so many people actually play it. So I counted how many full and high populated servers that are on retail in the Americas and Oceanic servers. There's 29 full servers and 35 high populated servers, whereas on Classic there's only 17 high populated servers. And this is interesting because both World of Warcraft Classic and Retail are at a point where they've got a little bit of content drought because the content, the realm, sorry, the raid patch that they're currently on has been out for like a number of months. So the last raid that came out on Retail has been out for a number of months and the same with Classic, you know, it's been a while since Zorgorub was released. So they, I'm, I'm surprised that the population is so high. It is a, you know, Saturday matinee kind of, you know, Saturday afternoon, so the population is bound to be much higher than it normally is on a weekday. But still, I didn't, I didn't think so many people would be playing retail when there's, you know, all the raids have already been released. Um, I find that quite quite interesting, and it's the same with, um, you know, Classic. I thought way more people would be playing it, getting ready for Anchorage, but apparently they're not. Obviously, it's important to bear in mind that the beta for Shadowlands has been released, which may have developed a little bit more hype for retail recently, but I'm not really sure, like maybe people are like leveling loads of alts on retail, I don't really know what people are doing on retail, maybe people can tell me in the comment section because I haven't played retail for a long time, but it's very very clear that a lot more people are playing retail despite the fact that the last raid came out a number of months ago. The next thing I looked at was Twitch, so I scanned through Twitch systematically, I went through the World of Warcraft section, highest views to lowest views, and I tallied which streams were retail and which streams were classic. Obviously this doesn't provide an accurate result on like whether more people are playing classic or retail, but it gives a, a good representation or a good calculation of the interest in retail compared to classic. Are more people interested in retail or interested in classic? Because, you know, looking at streams and the amount of streamers who are streaming retail and the views that they're getting, we can get like a clear, a fairly clear um, answer to that question. And I tallied up, okay, the top 30 streamers playing World of Warcraft on a Saturday matinee afternoon. Uh, there's 23 people playing retail and only 7 people playing classic. And honestly, the a lot of the classic streamers came 
after a while of me, you know, scrolling down to the people who were like in the few hundreds when it comes to viewers, even less than a hundred, that's when I started seeing more classic players. The bigger streamers who like have, you know, over 500, even over a thousand people watching, they are all playing retail. I'm just going to round the video off with some final thoughts because I've had a little thought. Maybe it would be better if I looked at the server status when um, classic well, people were actually raiding in Classic World because I know a lot of people what they do is they log out to hold their world buffs and then log in when it's kind of more raid time and obviously people aren't going to be raiding at this time. But nonetheless, I mean, even if I did this test again at that kind of time, I think it's very clear that retail, you know, has a lot more people playing it by just looking at the realm statuses. And I think the main reason for this is because outside of raiding, there isn't really a lot to do in Classic WoW other than PvP. But obviously not everyone likes PvP. A lot of people only play World of Warcraft for PvE content. And when you're playing retail, you have the raids to do. You have multiple different difficulties, and when you're not doing raids, you can do Mythic Plus dungeons, which are actually really fun. And then when you're not doing that, uh, a lot of people obviously, obviously spend time, which I've never really understood personally, uh, collecting transmog, collecting pets, and collecting mounts, and achievements, and all that kind of thing. So, there's a lot to do in Retail World of Warcraft when you are not um, required for a raid night, and I think that's probably what's massively inflated these numbers, simply by the fact that... Yeah, people are going to be logged into the game more on retail because there's more stuff to do when you're not raiding. Whereas in classic, outside of ra outside of raiding, there's not much you can really do other than battlegrounds, which again isn't everyone's cup of tea. And uh, they're basically my my last thoughts. So anyway, my name is Medigoblin. Until the next video, ciao.